We put out a lot of video stuff this past week. Uh, there's a lot to discuss. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to it. First things first, Monday morning, this past Monday, a mysterious video went up on our website. Oh, yeah. Simply labeled with question marks. You didn't know what it was. And then you clicked, oh, what is this, a short film? Is this perhaps a documentary? And then the mm. video melted away to reveal the truth. Yeah, that's Man. right. New cosplayers. Whoa. You got a new wah, wah, cosplayers wah. video. Cosplayers Trials of Time. Those both have Y's in them. And, uh, yeah. Um, what else is there to say? <clears throat> there are, uh, it, the way that continues that... Continues to say more. Continues <laughs> to say more. And that's enough said. Uh, the way that that video was <clears throat> presented and released um, was sort of in response to all year long I kept getting emails and seeing things written in different places about how oh that sucks they're not doing a new cosplayers video this year oh man um, Mega64 is done with cosplayers that sucks and we never said that and never <laughs> intended to be done uh, people it was are just, feverish for cosplayers it was just by it just didn't we don't have a set time for when we put those out mm -hmm. but there seemed, there was this impression of oh they always put them out during anime expo and they didn't but that's really not true so by the time I, I wasn't even sure myself that I wanted to do one right. it was kind of like I, last year's was was great I, I didn't feel the need really until we did San Diego Comic Con and we had that footage of Derek flipping over the table and kicking the camera on accident yeah. that was really funny and there was just a lot of funny cosplayers <laughs> Uh, so I thought, you know what? At this point, I have enough footage once, to make a good once one. Once we hit our fill, but we got to get yeah. there first. So sometimes yeah. it takes eight months into the year. Yeah. Um. So now we're done with it forever. Yes, yeah. but yeah, as forever. you know, this is the last one. I really, I really was, yeah, I was really torn on again not doing another one. But once we got that amount of footage, it was kind of like, yeah, all right, let me take a look at it, and then yeah, we it. it came together but I wanted to present it in a way where hey you know what if everyone thinks they're not getting one let's make them think they're not getting one it's a happy and then surprise. have it be a twist that it, yeah. you, you got it without knowing you got it yeah how so, many days uh, did you wait to change the title back to like cosplayers it was just for like a day and a half that it was right. a so most people and that was the plan yeah. from the beginning just to let, give once the cat I mean after a day the cat's out of the bag exactly so, you can't yeah. really you know, I was surprised. surprised that people on Twitter stuff didn't spoil what it was they, yeah. they were like oh the new video is great but they didn't say it was cosplayers yeah. that's because we got the coolest fans we do. Really yeah. cool fans. We, I, I really have to hand it to Mega64 <laughs> fans and viewers or whatever are really good about that like we've shown things at panels before where we said hey you know maybe don't maybe don't uh, spoil this for people or don't let any people know that we showed this right. or you know things like that and it, it always is really good they're like, good on like, their word yeah yeah I, I know I definitely know there are other people in a situation similar to ours that don't have that luxury yeah. that, you know once they show something it is <clears throat> cats out of the bag thing. completely yeah. so uh, I have to say thank you everybody hey what for, about this idea on the next cosplayers you write to be continued afterwards. Mm, not gonna do that. No, you don't think so? Veto. All right. Well, it's right off the table like that. <laughs> That's it. That was quick. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, with same yeah. keeping with tradition, I didn't see the video until it was already up. <laughs> I think five thousand people saw the video before I saw the video, <laughs> <laughs> which is great. You're I, in it. I'm in it. But I, I, I like. That's the video where I don't want anything. I don't know anything about it at all. I just wanted to see it when it's done. It's like fun that way for me. Yeah. My favorite two things were from uh, PAX East in that video where I, I forgot that we did those really intricate uh, Juggalo masks. Oh yeah. We we replicated um, <coughs> Shaggy Two Dope and Violent J. Violent J's, J's makeup on those masks. What were those like Payday Three masks? Yeah. We, we just, just inverted, inverted them, them. Yeah. so they were white and then sharpied it all on. It came out really good. I was I was stoked to see that, and for whatever reason, I found it so funny that the little sister was injecting Brian <laughs> yeah, with her yeah. giant heroin needle. Yeah, um, I forgot about that footage. I that. <laughs> it's yeah. like that was years ago, <laughs> so long ago. That's I had a lot of people asking me what that ending was, mm -hmm. and um, it was basically uh, getting to a point at towards the end of the video. And I remember <laughs> I was still there really late at night. I was losing my mind, and Kevin was sitting there too. And was like, yeah, so for the ending, are you kind of going to do what they usually do? You put something funny and then kind of reprise the song. And I was like, that's exactly it. We have to break every rule. Yeah. We can't end it. The 
Ugh! and I was getting so frustrated because that was the last thing. Everything was done except I didn't have an ending. And then I found the stupidest stock footage of this guy trying to get his, his yeah, kid on a tricycle. The <laughs> and then I found a band demo that an old friend of mine did that sounded like shit. And I was like, it was so, un it was like nails on a chalkboard to listen to. So I was like, oh no, that, that right there. And then I accidentally had a freeze frame of a kid dressed as a wizard. That was by accident. And I was like, nope. I watched it, it with Don't Chris reprise the, the first time and she's like, what was the ending? I'm like, I have no idea what that was. I but I'll continue know. to tell people that there is a purpose behind that shot and like, <laughs> I've had people ask me, is there like uh, something to interpret from that? And I was like, yeah, oh yeah, wizard. definitely. So the people watching the podcast, you know the truth. If you didn't watch this podcast, you're probably still trying to pick it apart. Uh, it's all bullshit. And it's all bullshit. Yeah, I figured. There you go. Real <laughs> art will be criticized and analyzed for years to come. It's true. As will cosplayers. People still talk about Warhol. There's a video of ours that you can watch. If you watched it at 50% speed, you'd finally see everything. It goes by so fast that <laughs> you can't catch everything. You know, they got different YouTube sites, like, you know, a site that you go got, to put a YouTube URL tube. in. Well, th those sites, too. They got, but no, there's, like, YouTube doubler sites. There's YouTube repeater yeah. sites. Stuff. Yeah. I wonder if they have, like, a half-speed YouTube site. That'd be kind of cool for I think you can play them within yeah, YouTube at half-speed. Really? It has that integrated I think in that's it? in there now. Wow. Yeah. When did they start doing that stuff? I know, I know there's I know there's like a two uh, times speed or boob tube. They did all the uh, 3D options, yeah. and I remember thinking like no one's going to use this. And are those still even available? I don't know. I don't think so. I know that they can upload. I know you can upload 4K, and and now you wow. can do 60 frames a second too. Wow. Whoa! They added those, but um, I don't know. We're gonna film the next cosplayers in 3D <clears throat> just to see if YouTube 60 frames still has the capability to upload it. Let's film it in 360 and release it on Oculus. Platform. Uh, yeah, people are doing that. Wachowski so, style. We someone at uh, we uh, Garrett and I were at Power Morphicon this weekend. Is someone film that in three sixty. Well, no, what someone there? <laughs> someone there who used to work on the show said, uh -huh. "I just directed a three sixty. Was it a horror movie? I think so. It was a three sixty shot movie, For and it's going to be released on Oculus Rift. Oculus. What the we're going to sell it so you can watch it, that you would watch it on that. That's crazy. Isn't that Whoa. weird? I can't wait. I don't have an Oculus, but. I want to see that technology implemented. If I was watching yeah. a regular horror movie, uh, the camera would always be pointed at the scary thing. But I guess if I'm watching a 360 Oculus horror movie, I could just. I feel like they not would... watch. I have the option to not watch what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I feel like what's happening in that part you, of the room? You'd have to direct it where the actors Nothing. would look towards the action to get you to look with them. Oh, yeah. that's true. You know what I mean? No, but I feel I understand the novelty of it. But what do you gain from making a movie in 360? It's the just a new technology, trying it out. But you're gonna have a lot of nothing going on that you're filming and putting in your movie. Yeah. All right. That's that was all. That's kind of funny. <laughs> A bit of a waste of uh, time. Derek's um, going to continue making analog film. Mr. 2D over here. Mr. Uh, Won't step into the How many next degrees generation? is a regular movie? Uh, what is that? Mr. 1D. I'm going to take a piece of paper and put a dot on it and film it. <laughs> little math humor for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, anything else to say about cosplayers? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, I like Imprisoned Al Yankovic. <laughs> that was good. We've had several Al Yankovics. Oh, I love yeah. Jafar and Return of Jafar. Jafar. Um, what? You, oh, you, oh, Fast and Furious was great. Oh, God, oh, yeah. That was my favorite one. <laughs> you did all the Charmander, like, integrated him into the space capsule yeah. and all that stuff? That, that, was was footage, cool. that was footage of the original uh, when they shot a chimp into space. I figured, because it was such a small thing, that when, would've, it would have been for a monkey. Yeah. The only time I saw Rocco editing that video was that part, and he was trying to get the Charmander in the space, and he was like, getting so fucking frustrated. Yeah, it, was it looked good. good. It, it looked did. good. Did and it? I'm like... Because it, it looks like shit to and me. And I was like, no, Rocco, good. how's it going? And he just went... Fucking shitty. It's going fucking shitty. Like, right, well, I'll see you later. But it turned out great. But yeah. that was the part that took forever. The re editing the actual cosplayers part is fun. That, that's fun. Uh, as long as I have footage, that is fun. And that's what I mean. Like after Comic Con, when I had Derek doing Gunkata and mm. yeah. more goofy costumes and the girl spinning the stuff that's and you so you watching. Funny. You know, after once I had all that, then it was. Fun. I can't. I can't edit cosplayers out of necessity. It has to be fun. And once I had that, it was fun. It so, was yeah, nice. So I was stoked. Anyway, that's all about that. Um...